introduced by uh, my good friend Martin Sweeney, he's always filled with drama. <laughs> and Marty, uh, I do forgive you for two things. Number one, being a terrible basketball player, and more important, being a Democrat. <laughs> but outside that, you're one of my best friends. Thank you. <laughs> Quickly, uh, I'd like to thank the archives. This is very special. It's very important for all of us that are Irish to touch the cultural aspects of what we are and who we are, what our spirit's about, that special spirit. I want to uh, also congratulate my classmates of this year, Janice. Uh, Janice, there you there. Raise your hand. Sister Kathleen. Right there. There you are. And uh, Mike. Larry, there you are. Thank you. Congratulations. Good-looking class. <laughs> the records will reflect we were the smartest and the best looking of, of the day. <laughs> now, uh, what's interesting uh, about this to me is uh, this is an evening of friends and family. I look around this room and there are 75 people there, a minimum, that I've known for more than 25 years. And there's a number in this room I've known for 40 and 50 years. So to be here in front of them and enjoying this evening is very, very special. And evenings like this are about family and friends. And I want to take a minute here and introduce my family, which I'm very proud of. My wife, Mary. All right. <laughs> my brother, St. Jerry. St. Jerry. <laughs> my son and... Good friend, Matthew Crawford. <laughs> Colin Crawford, Kate Crawford, Stan. They just came out of the scene out west and they advised me that they expected me on the Olympic team for the Americans in 10 years. Is that correct, Colin? What? <laughs> <laughs> you should have a better answer than what? <laughs> well, so yes. Yes. Family, you have to be say yes. <laughs> And then, of course, we have uh, Claire. And uh, take a good look at Claire because she's going to follow right behind Matthew as the CEO of Park, Ohio. <laughs> and our absolute number one uh, draft pick, you know, three times over, uh, Matthew's wife, Debbie. How lucky we to have her, Debbie. <laughs> On the way over, I was thinking, or this morning, I looked at the word uh, archives. What it meant, you know, remembering something of historical nature. And I think there's a lot of friends in this room being recognized for a contribution and improvement of a garden. Just think of that, ladies and gentlemen, a garden. I'm being recognized for being part of a garden. That's like being cultural. It's like the arts. And I think this is very important because there are many in this room if they went back to the CAC, particularly that group, and they thought about the gym and what my life's been like, the last thing they think, I'd be here being recognized for being in the arts. <laughs> so I, I have accept, I'm embracing this concept that I'm in the arts now. This is very good. So I'm at the top. And if I can leave here this evening and leave this world being recognized for being part of the garden of the arts, I fulfill. I wonder what my mom thinks about this. <laughs> But that's an important aspect of uh, the garden was a treasure. It was fun. It was well done by a lot of great people. It would not be there without Martin Sweeney and others. I can name uh, many in this room. So this is about being Irish. And I want to just, just take a few moments about the Irish spirit. The Irish spirit is special. I started thinking one day, well, how many times, how long have I been saying and introducing myself as being Irish? When I was young and starting my businesses, I find myself occasionally saying, I add it to the conversation while I'm Irish. And I still take today, even in New York City, raising bond money, Matthew knows, I still refer to the fact that I'm Irish. It goes back to the fact that that was my club. When I was starting out and I had the indecision, the insecurities of trying to build or had the vision that I, I wanted to, to fulfill, the only club I had outside my own little family was being Irish. I didn't know there were a lot of people who didn't like the Irish. <laughs> so I just went right ahead of being Irish. But there's a wonderful spirit about there. There's something there. 
And we can think of 400 years in England, you can think about the, all the things that happened wrong in coming here. But the American Irish community, this community is wonderful. Wonderful. And we should work hard to keep it, keep it solid for our children and grandchildren. Never give up on it. You can never forget that Stony Island. It's in all of us. I treasure it. And thank you very much.